just almost every headline almost said pastor Alf claimed to have resurrected a man who was dead now i am asking whoever wrote it tell me where did i claim it if you believe that i claim it fine show me a video a test tell me where did you get that if you cannot tell me that please for dignity's sake retract it yes right this is a simple call for dignity because you see with this so many people took it as a truth bible truth pastor half claims and the picture in people's mind is now the pastor half called for a body and he presented it there and said to the world see how powerful i am i'm about to perform a miracle to seduce you all to me rise now this is the picture we have created god anointed me i don't need to play tricks that's right say it again yes before that car came we had so many healings taking place already yes now again i say most of the media houses wrote it there not thinking that they're writing a story of a person and with all the things that goes around him not just a subject they say pastor Af claims he resurrected a man from the dead yet if they just took five ten minutes to go to the video not not in interrogating people just go through the video it is day and the sound is there you will see pastor up coming and say he's breathing you will hear pastor up being called and say there is somebody out there who is alive in the bracket please understand many people sometimes bring dead people during the week my child is dead come to church what do we do we cancel them because to lose a loved one is difficult and to part with him especially if he's a sudden death it is very very difficult sometimes it takes a process we don't bring those people on a sunday morning and lay them on the altar and say let them stretch the power of god this we need to understand not that we're gonna put up a fast a fight but we need to understand what are the procedures for a mortuary to pick a body and to move it from one point to another are there policies and regulations that need to be followed if you take a body don't you verify if the person is really there because you must know if you just take a coffin like that you may take drugs one day right so they must i presume some level of inspection so i don't have those answers but i think they may have it so we'll ask for a meeting to hear it is not a way out to say it is the church mm -mm. that will not work i said to you this lies in general i'm talking about this matter lies in general may take the lift the truth takes the steps please have a seat i am in no way whatsoever blaming the mortuary i am saying here we will understand this 
Are you hearing me? To my surprise, not only one mortuary, not two, three. Where are the two others coming from? Hey. Say that God to bless you will take somebody miles away just for you. Amen. The citizen has been advised by the church's lawyer, our lawyer family, our firm of lawyer, is the greatest legal mind the continent has. Hallelujah. The citizen has been advised by the church lawyers that the cameraman cannot even leave his home as any appearance in the public is met with scorn, ridicule, and threats of violence. Pastor Lukao has received major backlash about the service due to, among other things, the allegation that he knew, the allegation that he knew and had worked with the men in the coffin prior to Sunday, the 24th of things. Who created this? Is articles like this. The church lawyers have pointed out that the serious and unintended consequences as a result of the incorrect identification of this matter emphasizes the power of social media and the media, meaning citizen, in general, and highlight the importance of responsible reporting. That's all we're asking. And speaking this way is not a fight. You don't abuse power because you have it. President Nelson Mandela said, power corrupts. And absolute power corrupts absolutely. News is power. Thank you, sir. You are safe now. They apologize. You can go.